I am reading a book titled Life with God by Richard Foster and this caught my eye as I was reading honestly so far I'm enjoying the book so 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 much this I felt the need to have to share it because it is something that I have noticed is happening it is about allowing the spirit to guide us the simplest place to start in reading what the heart is in by is by inviting the spirit of Christ to be our guide okay. it may sound easy to allow the spirit to guide us while reading the bible and indeed it is neither difficult nor burdensome but in a culture of consumerized christianity it is also easy to stumble over preconceived notions about the bible cluttering the path chief among such market-driven notions is that the bible exists to serve our needs it is no surprise that in a consumer-driven culture, we would be tempted to reduce the Bible to a product for self-improvement. But to do so is deadly. Seeking reassurance for our lives will be safe and comfortable. We pull verses out of context and create Bible promise books listed piecemeal and arranged thematically by need. It is not wrong to hope for safety and for comfort, but that is not where we will find the meaning in our lives. In our desire for a packaged, user-friendly, just tell me how to do life of faith, we distort the Bible into an owner's manual for successful living or even moral living. Then we can judge ourselves superior to others if we follow the rules more faithfully than they. It is not wrong to strive for a moral life, but if that is our only goal, it will steer us toward the righteousness of the Pharisees and not into the fulfillment of life with God. There is a reason why Paul counseled the Philippians, quoting, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. God is concerned with the process of our growth, not in our human estimation of how well we accomplish it. Moralism flattens life with God by draining off the dimension of relationship. After all, it is much easier to follow a to-do list than to engage in a business in a messy business of personal relations again god is saying i am with you will you be with me